South African factory manager Bradley Solomons caught COVID-19 in July last year and spent more than 20 days in hospital. Months later, he was still struggling with daily life. I still feel that sometimes I, 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 I lose my memory for three to five minutes and I don't know what, what I was doing or whatsoever and I still cough. Now and then my throat is still sore. There are no official figures, but it's thought millions of people worldwide who contracted the coronavirus have also suffered from so-called long COVID, with symptoms lasting longer than four weeks. The condition remains poorly understood, says British campaigner Ondine Sherwood. Amongst medical practitioners, um, there is a bit of variation in terms of recognition. I think people are still getting told um, that there it's due to anxiety. Some doctors don't really fully understand this condition. New research from King's College London suggests that coronavirus vaccines halve the risk of suffering from long COVID for the very low number of people who get infected after vaccination. The scientists base their research on Britain's Zoe COVID study app, which tracked the self-reported symptoms of 1.2 million people between December 2020 and July this year. 0.2% of vaccinated respondents reported being infected with coronavirus. Of those, 5% reported suffering from long COVID, compared to 11% of unvaccinated people. So the vaccine will protect you from becoming ill from the virus. It will also protect you if you do get symptoms from becoming long term ill from this virus. The findings will fuel the debates over whether to offer vaccines to children. Another recent study in Britain found that one in seven children suffers from long COVID three months after infection with headaches and fatigue listed as the most common symptoms. Several countries, including the US, have already begun vaccination programmes for those 12 years and over. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.